Hello, my name is Andrew. And today, I'm going to talk about vaccines. Did you know that each year, 4 million deaths worldwide are prevented by childhood vaccinations? And 50 million deaths can be prevented from 2021 to 2030? Wow, that's a lot of people. Let's look at how vaccines were first discovered. In 1796, an English physician, Edward Cheddar, discovered vaccines when he injected an eight-year-old boy with pus from a cowpox sore from a milkmaid's hand. That's gross. By injecting the boy with the infection, he prevented him from getting the disease. So how do vaccines work in the body? Vaccines contain weakened or inactive parts of a virus or bacteria, called an antigen. This antigen triggers a response from your body's immune system, producing antibodies that protect us from getting sick from that disease in the future. Newer vaccines contain a blueprint or DNA from the virus or bacteria. So here's how DNA vaccines work. First, a virus spike DNA within a capsid is put into a syringe. The DNA capsid is then injected into the host, which releases the viral DNA into the cell. This then enters the nucleus and releases mRNA. Ribosomes then process the mRNA to produce virus spike proteins which trigger an immune response. This sounds great, right? So what's the problem? What if we need to make a faster vaccine? Remember COVID? Traditional vaccines are slower to produce the right type of protein and it's slower because it needs to enter the nucleus for transcription to occur. Now here's the breakthrough, mRNA vaccines. mRNA vaccines are made from messenger RNA, delivered by lipid nanoparticles. They make the antigen quicker since the mRNA is already formed and doesn't need to enter the host nucleus. So what about the future, future of mRNA future. vaccines? mRNA vaccines are under development for solid tumors, melanoma, prostate, ovarian, breast, and brain cancers. More studies will be needed to see who will benefit in, in the, the future. future.